This presentation will introduce you to Rionix viscometers and their applications. First we will give you an overview of Rionix sensor products. Next, we will give a brief introduction to the technology upon which these sensors are based. We will then discuss the significance of viscosity for process applications, and why the value of viscosity given by different instruments can vary widely for certain fluids. Here is the lineup of Rionix fluid sensors for inline process monitoring and control. SRV is a compact, robust inline process viscometer. SRD adds density to the measurement capabilities of SRV, to enable measurement and control of kinematic and dynamic viscosities in addition to accurate density measurement. DVP is a density and viscosity sensor targeted for high pressure and temperature process measurements. Its high sensitivity makes it especially suited for highly accurate measurements in fluids with lower viscosity and density. All Rionix sensors are available with a large variety of process and electronic interfaces. And all function with the same underlying symmetric torsional resonator technology. Rionic sensors are based on mechanical resonators. When a mechanical resonator is vibrating in contact with a fluid, its vibrations are damped to a degree that depends on the fluid's viscosity. The upper figure shows the resonance curves of how a resonator's damping changes with fluid viscosity. These curves show the amplitude of the resonator as a function of frequency. As viscosity increases, the extra damping reduces the size of the response, but also increase the resonator's bandwidth. When a resonator is moved from a fluid with a lower density to one of a higher density, its resonance frequency decreases in proportion to the fluid's density, as shown in the second figure. Rionic sensors have patented resonators that are optimized to be very sensitive to changes in the fluid, while being unaffected by the way they are mounted. The SRV, SRD and DVP all use resonators that vibrate in torsion, Torsional resonators are much better isolated from environmental influences than are transverse resonators. Resonators that vibrate transversely, like a tuning fork, tend to be more influenced by how and where they are mounted than are torsional resonators. Rionics torsional resonators do not rotate, they measure through microscopic vibrations that are influenced by the fluid's properties. The actual surface motion is less than one one thousandth of a millimeter. In addition, Rionic sensors are vibrationally balanced. That means that for every part that is vibrating, a corresponding part vibrates in the opposite direction. Balanced resonators transmit very little energy to their mountings. That is why Rionic sensors' accuracy, reproducibility and repeatability are not influenced by how and where they are mounted. A vibrating resonator's frequency and damping are influenced by fluid forces acting on the resonator. The SRV has only cylindrical surfaces in contact with the fluid. When it vibrates in torsion, its surface only moves parallel to itself. The vibrating surface drags fluid with it as it vibrates. This results in an oscillating velocity gradient in the fluid. Whenever there is a velocity gradient in a fluid, there are shear forces due to the fluid's resistance to shearing. This resistance to shearing is what is meant by viscosity. Shearing of the fluid absorbs energy from the resonator. This absorbed energy is what is meant by damping. SRD's diamond-shaped paddle pushes fluid ahead of it as well as shearing the fluid. Perpendicular fluid motion, shown by the black arrows in the diagram, causes mass loading of the resonator, decreasing its frequency. The red curved arrows show how the SRD's resonator also causes fluid shearing, leading to viscosity-dependent damping. Measuring frequency and damping of the resonator gives both density and viscosity of the fluid. There are many ways of measuring viscosity. Traditional lab viscometers either measure the torque the fluid exerts on a rotating spindle, as seen on the left-hand picture. Efflux cups, often used for printing inks, are filled with a fluid, which then drains out of a standard-sized hole, as shown in the right-hand picture. The operator measures the time it takes for the cup to completely drain. Both of these methods require a skilled operator and are time consuming. The SRV is an inline process viscometer, it measures the viscosity of a process fluid as it is flowing through a pipe, or being mixed in a tank. It is only necessary to connect it to a computer or a process controller in order for it to make continuous, unattended measurements. 
Viscosity is a somewhat misleading term, because it suggests that it is a fixed property of a fluid. But only a small minority of fluids have a fixed value of viscosity. These fluids are called Newtonian. The viscosity of a Newtonian fluid is independent of the rate at which it is sheared, therefore, almost all viscometers will measure the same viscosity, regardless of the measurement principle. Typical Newtonian fluids include water, pure vegetable and mineral oils with no additives, and sugar syrups. The vast majority of fluids are non-Newtonian. The reading of a viscometer in a non-Newtonian fluid depends on the shear rate with which it is measured. Ketchup is a strongly non-Newtonian fluid. The reading it gives with a viscometer depends on its measuring principle, as well as the shear rate that it produces. There are unlimited kinds of behavior shown by non-Newtonian fluids. Two typical and common behaviors are shear thinning and shear thickening. Non-Newtonian fluids are usually characterized by a flow curve, measured by a rheometer, that plots shear stress as a function of shear rate. The slope of the flow curve at a given shear rate is its apparent viscosity. Viscometers generally do not have controlled shear rates. Their shear rates can only be known approximately for non-Newtonian fluids. Their readings at comparable shear rates are proportional to the slope of the flow curve at that shear rate. A shear thinning material measured with a rotational viscometer will show decreasing readings as the spindle speed increases. The faster rotation shears the fluid faster. For a Newtonian fluid, the torque on the spindle will increase proportionally to the speed. The ratio of torque to speed decreases with increasing spindle speed for a shear thinning fluid. Many household products show shear thinning behavior. Shampoos, many cosmetics, and pancake batter are shear thinning. The Rionix SRV vibrates at a high frequency, about 7500 Hz. Even though the surface of its tip looks stationary, its vibration amplitude is about 10 to 1,000 nanometers, or about one thousandth of a millimeter. Nevertheless, the shear rate that the SRV produces in a typical fluid is very high compared to lab viscometers, between 100 and 1,000 times as high. The SRV therefore shows a smaller reading in shear thinning materials than most lab viscometers. Depending on the degree of shear thinning, the measured viscosity may be 10 to 100 times smaller than with a typical rotational viscometer. Nevertheless, its repeatability and reproducibility even in highly non-Newtonian fluids guarantees that it will detect very small differences in their properties. This is the crucial criterion for its usefulness in process monitoring and control. The SRV's main use is as a process viscometer. It is not a replacement for a lab viscometer. Its role as a process viscometer is to monitor, and possibly to control, the consistency of a material being produced. For these purposes, the SRV's reproducibility and repeatability are of crucial importance, rather than its agreement with a lab viscometer. A type of sensor is reproducible when the same fluid shows the same reading at different times, with different operators, with different individual instruments. That is, all SRVs need to show the same viscosity with the same fluid no matter who is making the measurement. A sensor is repeatable when a single instrument gives the same reading in the same fluid over a short length of time. It is a measure of the resolution and statistical fluctuations of the instrument's measurements. A viscometer's accuracy is a useful concept when comparing its readings to a standard. In practice, it is meaningful only when measuring fluids that are known to be Newtonian. The SRV's reproducibility and repeatability are very high in most homogeneous fluids. Therefore it provides a highly reliable measure of the constancy of properties of a process fluid, no matter whether its properties are dependent on shear rate. It can be disconcerting for users who are accustomed to mechanical means of measuring viscosity to find the SRV's measurements to be very different from their lab measurements. What is crucial to maintaining constant properties of a process fluid are reproducibility and repeatability. SRV's high reproducibility means that two different SRVs in the same fluid will give the same reading. This is important when they are installed on parallel process lines, or when replacing a damaged instrument. SRV's repeatability means that it will maintain the consistency of a fluid's viscosity even over long production runs. It is a measure of the sensor's stability. Our sensors enable process monitoring and optimization across multiple industries, whether application needs downhole, 
harsh environment density and viscosity monitoring, or robust control of non-Newtonian fluids in your manufacturing processes, we have a product that fits the needs. Some industries where rionic sensors are deployed are energy, industrial grinding, and mixing, food and beverage processing, printing presses, coating lines, automotive. Further, they see widespread use in petrochemicals, marine, pumping, pharmaceuticals, mining and chemical industries. All these industry segments are part of the solutions database on the website, and you can find specific applications in these industries on the application notes that are on the website. These are a few of our key established application areas. We have a strong know-how and portfolio of end users, machine builders, in most of these applications. In printing and coding industry, flexographic, gravure and corrugated printing, coating wire enamels coils and cans, contact lens printing, in food industry, chocolates manufacturing, dairy products manufacturing, batter coating, in pharma industry, tablet coating and printing, pharmaceutical manufacturing, in automotive, automotive painting and coating, sealing and gluing, in mixing, battery electrode slurry preparation and coating, ceramic shell building and investment casting, in oil and gas, reservoir fluid analysis, drilling mud weight monitoring, in chemicals, polymerization reactors, resins production, and the list goes on. The website already has a few dozen application notes that cover these areas in detail and we add a couple notes every month to cover existing and new use cases. Chocolate manufacturing is a promising market for our viscometers. Our sensors ensure smooth mouthfeel and texture even in high volume production. In chocolate manufacturing, our viscometers are finding a wide usage across key global players. Europe and North America are currently key markets where core brands are adopting our sensors across their production lines. Newer clients are coming on board in Asia and Latin America. Chocolate producers are looking to automate manual viscosity measurements and to carry out these measurements in line in order to achieve a fully continuous production process. Sensors can be integrated in a blend tank recirculation loop, continuously tracking viscosity and ensuring release to supply loops only after correct viscosity is attained. It results in improved chocolate taste and quality, a greater brand loyalty among customers, and a much improved yield. Our viscometers ensure correct flowability and deliver success in gluing and sealing applications. Adhesives and sealants is a fast-expanding market, driven by growth in packaging, construction, automotive, electronics, and battery manufacturing. Viscosity correlates to the flowability of the prepared adhesives, glues and sealants. Offline sample handling to make viscosity measurements is inefficient and may not be responsive enough for timely corrective actions. Viscometer-powered closed-loop feedback control systems make continuous adjustments to formulation, ensuring correct mix ratio, homogeneity and a consistent flow behavior of sealants at the point of application. The oil condition monitoring market has witnessed unprecedented growth, driven by IoT adoption in manufacturing, renewables, aerospace and chemical industries. Engineers understand the problem with periodic sampling and lab measurements that is currently used for oil condition monitoring. Sampling errors could arise when the area where a sample is drawn is different or away from the area where it is tested. Sampling from a large sump or immediately downstream from a filter will provide very little indication of degradation. Our inline sensor brings value and addresses this particular challenge. Knowledge of oil viscosity in real time with the SRV provides direct measure of the aging of oil ingress of contaminants during operations. Real-time data from rionic sensors predicts and prevents mechanical failure due to loss of proper lubrication. 
one of the key areas for oil condition monitoring, is the gearbox on the wind turbines that are getting bigger, and harder to access, like in offshore wind farms. Others like heavy machinery used in mining, are also operating in remote regions, making it important to predict and avoid breakdowns. We hope to have given you some useful insights about the applications and technology of Rionics sensors. Thank you for your attention. This presentation was prepared by Rionics Product Engineering and Application Engineering Team.